for the money and got to coming for your head. Karcha of Knipper, nah. Swag. We don't cut off uh tags. Swag. Bitches may not mean nothing to y'all. Some more soft song, huh? Boy, joy, I guess so. Nigga, man, I got it. Don't know that I get to. Nigga, tell they got a head on no get to. I had your trance on. I killed a single. My life is shining like a VBS. VBS. This time we did not VBS. Yeah. VBS. Around an hour TV. Now, see me, baby. This time we did not VBS. Bro, this is a fucking banger, bro. Do I have VVS? UGS right here. Hold on, let me get some chains. I have arrived with the drip. I am ready. I like this, though. I really like this song. It, you got the weirdness. Bro, this, this is this isn't just dope. It's just it's really really like really good. It just sounds incredible. This song is I heard of Annie. What? One second, guys. Uh, professional business. Oh yeah, the thing about this, not, uh, wait, let me take off this winter jacket, Jesus Christ. Um, it, yeah, it does not really sound like it does, but the thing is, what does K-pop sound like, right? What is K-pop sound? Because if you'd ask this question 10 years ago, you'd be like, oh yeah, it'd be like the Korean Justin Timberlake type of music. Yeah, yeah, it'd be like, everybody would kind of agree on that or kind of have a similar vision. But nowadays, you know, what is K-pop? Like, how do you define K-pop? It's so much, there's so much variety. There's so many different um, styles. Yeah, it's so, yeah, heck yeah, yeah, it's diverse. There's so much variety in it. There's like this guy, I mean, Justice is mainly like a rapper, but this song, is it to be considered K-pop? I don't know. It's, it, it has this poppy, more pop appeal to it, yes, but it isn't necessarily pop, right? It's more of a rap song. It gives me Post Malone vibes. Like this song, it's, it's kind of like, like po you would hear Post Malone make a song like this, right? So, which is nice because I really love Post Malone, so... This is considered K-hip-hop. Yeah, I'd place it in that category more than K-pop as well. Yeah, there's a lot of genres, yep. Especially nowadays, you know? Like, I, I'll give you an example. If you, you have artists nowadays like uh, Bones, Corpse, um, Ghost Main, Puya, you didn't have those type of artists or they weren't as popular as they, you know, as they are now. 
10 to 20 years ago. So now there's just the audience, just the music industry in general is just way bigger. And there's so much diversity, so much variety. And it's also easier for people to just produce music on their own. Like, look at me, I got a mic, I got a really good mic here, I just do it myself. You know what I mean? So I don't think K-pop necessarily has a specific sound, you know? Bro, no, she's, she's really dope. Mama, what I tell you, I'd make it out the bar. And then she's talking about popping bottles. This is really dope, like... So it's, the VVS thing is about... It's not necessarily flexing as in, look at my chain. It's more like, hey, look at what I've accomplished. Look at the success where I'm at. Look at where I've been. Look at what I've accomplished in life, where I am at today, where I'm going in the future. You know what I mean? And I I really like that. Just the lyrics, like what she's talking about. What I tell you, mom, said, I'll get you, I'll get you out of the bar. Girl at rock bottom, mama's liquor bottles made me who I am. Bro, like, this is hard. Hungry, but I clench my teeth. Chit chat about me, come at me, bro. Just bring it. Bring it. This is the mentality you need to have. VVS on my neck in front of my dream, throwing away my rusty bracelet. No more of that living bad. No more of, of, of like worrying to pay the bills. Nah, we, we settled now. We good now. We Gucci, you know what I mean? And it's, this song is awesome. This song is awesome. Yes. Guys, this is one of those songs, bro. I need to hold up. This is one of those songs, man. This is one of those songs that just gets me, bro. Yo, he came in. He came in. I knew, see, 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 this kind of, like, he already established himself in the rap game, music game, whatever, in the industry, right? But, like, to me, like, this is the first time I'm seeing this from him, yeah? Oh, it, th this song of him kind of... Like pl he, it places him in like one of my favorite artists right now. You know what I mean? Like I already knew what he could do as a rapper, but now I can know what he can do as an artist with pop appeal. Now I know what he can do. Now I know what he's. I have more knowledge of what he's really capable of, and this is incredible. This is an amazing song. You know, so he's dope. Like because because the first thing I saw of him was his uh, killing verse. And I was like, bruh. You know? And I was like, okay, he raps, he raps. But this... All you did was stare at your phone. Now you can see me on the screen. It was popping. All you did was... I was grinding, working my ass off. And all you did was just look on your screen, you know? Pass time, get dopamine hits from social media, whatever, Netflix, whatever you're doing, right? But I was working my ass off and now you see me on that screen. That is a flex, bro. You know why I like this guy as well? This dude is unfiltered. He says what he thinks.
Here, a coffee PAV, coffee path. I wonder if Anthony will collaborate with Korean rapper in the future, if there's an opportunity. If, look, look, if any of these rappers, right, that I react to reaches out to me, hey, man, you want to do a song together? My immediate answer is, yeah. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no, there's no stutter. There's no doubt, nothing. It's completely, yup, let's go. And there is no charge. It's all free. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't even be like, you have to pay me that. Nah, bro, it's all free. Let's go. You know what I mean? It's, it's because it's for the culture. It's for the culture. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? This is dope. Hey, Lena, what's up? Bro, this is dope. You know, you know, there's a thing, right? With uh, when people ask me, hey, what's your favorite rapper, you know? As in, uh, when I, I think like, oh yeah, like Western artists, right? Let's say Western artists. My favorite rapper would be Eminem. Well, because he's Eminem. You know what I mean, there's no, there's no explanation needed. He's Eminem. Yeah. But if you ask me who my favorite Korean rapper is, I cannot give you an answer. I don't know. I don't even want to pick one, right? Because I can't. I really cannot. At certain points, it would be just this. Another point, it would be be by be by. Another point, it might be sugar. You know, what I mean? it's it's. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's it's because the the Korean, the rappers in the Korean genre, the game, whatever you know, that music industry, the bar is set so high that they they're kind of forced by the music industry to develop more skill than in the Western culture. And I, I, I've said this before in other reaction uh, videos. When I hear like Western rap, when I listen to Korean rap, like for instance, Bobby, there was this one song, uh, You Mad? Was it that one? Why you mad, huh? Like that one. Bruh. I was like, what am I watching? I've never seen anything like this. And then after that, another artist in the Western culture released an album, I think. And I was listening to it and I was like, this sounds good, but I'm not getting that same 
you know that same spark that same like curiosity that same like that gets me invested like oh bro this is sick and i got that from bobby and it's kind of like the the korean music is so uh, impressive to me as a, as a as a person from the western culture that i get so much dopamine spikes right that when i revert back to for example like western rap or western music a lot of the times i'm like eh you know uh maybe not favorite rapper do you have like a mentor could be artists or someone in your real life that inspire you and you look up to it's mainly like musical it's it's um eminem chester bennington and i'd say yellow Wolf. like those three i really really like uh look up to as in you know because I'm also like very musical within the the interests that I have, and those are those those artists, rappers, whatever singers, they are very. Uh, have you listened to Eminem uh, Kamikaze album? Yeah, it's one of his best albums because he's so pissed off. I love it. Oh, uh, this is exactly why you listen to more K hip hop than English. To be honest, it's just the bars just uh, set higher. You know, it's it's. I don't know. It's not the same when you when you listen to. Sometimes you just want to listen to the new Post Malone album. But like I was listening to Donda by Kanye West, right? And uh, producer wise, incredible. Like so original, incredible. But like lyrically, sure, fine. Like I w I was I wasn't that impressed. And I think it is because I've been spoiled with this content. I've been spoiled with like Korean rappers, right? Because they're so, bro, that justice uh, killing verse, bro. And that is like considered somewhat above average in the Korean industry because the, the bar is set so high, you know? Any famous rappers in my country? Nah, there's one. There's one. His name is Tourist in, in Dutch. Uh, he's quite famous uh, locally, but he's not he's not like internationally famous. I mean, there aren't any rappers here that do it in English, I, I believe. Maybe there are, and I, I just can't really think of them, or I don't listen to them. But um, can you listen to, uh, react to Hyunjin, Artist of the Month, please? Yeah, if we get there today, because I have a lot of requests to do, and I prioritize those, right, from the Super Chat. So it's, it's only fair. Uh What's the difference between here and rap catalog? Where the thing with rap catalog is right there, I focus mainly on uh, like, let's say, Harry Mack videos or whatever, or uh, the YouTube cipher that I'm going to do in the future. You know what I mean? Because if I do Harry Mack here and then switch to a K-pop song, the, uh, the audience is going to be so divided. People are not going to stick too long or whatever. So it's better for the channel's performance. Uh, if you look at it from the algorithm's view, to divide the content that is being provided. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Just this killing versus legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Changmo's killing verse, Simon Dominic's uh, killing verse. I still have to check that out. Uh, thank you, Astrid. What, why are you thanking me? What did I do? Hyunjin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This song is fire. Ronda, Ronda Rousey, these obstacles, that's a bar. Do you speak other languages? Yes, I speak Dutch, some French, and like parts of like little bits of other languages. This guy, this guy is very original. I like him. He's like, you don't expect his, um, you don't expect him to sound like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Bruh. 
봐라 야 걱정하지 마 멋대로 머리 베개에서 이천으로 넌 따라 서울 투 경기 이천으로 넌 뛰거라 보이라고 옛날 다시 돌을 라이커 비비 Fene Vidi Vici said it in Korean. Yo, this song is so dope, bro. I, I really wanna, I really wanna play it again.